Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be living out one of my childhood nostalgia memories, and that is playing with the new Morphe collaboration with Lisa Frank. Like what? So not only do I have the palette, I do have the sponges and the brush set as well. So you guys want to see what my thoughts are on this. Does it live up to the Lisa Frank expectation that all of us 90s babies have? Well, let's find out. Okay guys, so I actually completely forgot that this collection launched today. And if it wasn't for Mikey, I would have completely missed out on it. But I happened to be at Ulta and I saw the end cap, they had this whole display and I was like, <gasps> Lisa Frank, Lisa Frank, it's Lisa Frank. I was like, I have to get it. Now I had no clue that this palette comes in three different like variations. The inside palette is all the same, but like the packaging is different. So the only one I had, the only one I saw there was the tiger one, but I guess there's like a unicorn one and an alien one. I think the tiger closely resembles like Lisa Frank. And, uh, and if anyone out there is like young, um, Lisa Frank is like, it was like every 90s child, like coveted going back to school collection. I had all the folders. I had the little pencil cases like this. I had the notebooks. I mean, I loved Lisa Frank. I mean, I was obsessed with her as a child just because it's so like, it's so fun, neon, poppy, cute. Like it is just, it is, it's every girl's fantasy as a child. Now, unfortunately, I saw somewhere online that there was a something gone wrong with Lisa Frank. I unfortunately uh, don't know what happened, um, but I do know that I guess Lisa Frank tried to start like a makeup company a couple of years ago. People invested all this money into it to buy the products. They never sent out the products, never refunded the products. So people wasted like a couple hundred bucks to never be seen or heard from again. So I don't really know what the true situation is. I only saw because of Twitter told me somewhat about it. So. I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if this is like really like Lisa Frank as well. I don't know, but all I know is that it is beautiful. It looks just like my my folders back in the day. It's so gorgeous. Now, all right, so this palette right here is a 35 pan eyeshadow palette. It does retail for $30. So you're only getting a lot of shadows for the price of the palette. Uh, they have their own little cute brush set right here. Like, look at this bag. It even smells like plastic. It smells like a pencil case like my childhood <laughs> and this retails right here for $32 which is a little pricey for Morphe's brushes but this bag though it's everything and then they also rolled out with some sponges now this retail for $19 super cute as well I mean I feel like they could have done like really fun shapes with this but I guess there's only so much you could do for like sponges but I saw this and I was like, I have to get it. Now I know you can purchase like the entire collection, I think for $128 on Morphe's website, but that includes three eyeshadow palettes, the bag and the brush and the sponges, which again, it's just freaking crazy. But this is what I was really wanting to look into. Cause like I said, there's a unicorn one, an alien one, and there's a tiger one. Like look at how freaking gorgeous this is. Oh my God, I'm just, I'm living in my childhood right now, like just getting flashback memories. Like, I mean, I'm sure all of us children were like this. <laughs> yeah, well, look what folder I have. Like, I was that child. I mean, not like, I thought it was really nice, but I was like, oh, I have one for math, one for drawing, one for art. Like, <laughs> I love Lisa Frank. So to get this is, you know, where did my folders go? Huh. You know, I've actually started to roll out with Lisa Frank folders again back in uh, the school supply section. I saw that. But when you actually open the palette, this is how it looks. Just like so, it has a mirror and it says, color your world. It's a magical day when Morphe met the rainbows and whims whimsy of Lisa Frank's fantastic world. From bright bursts of blues to perfect pops of pink, every shade of your imagination is in this palette. Let your most vibrant dreams come true. So like I said, every palette's gonna have the same exact color scheme on the inside, just the packaging will be a little bit differently, but it is like a collector's item. So I guess people are buying all three palettes for like a collector's purpose. I could care less about that. But this is the palette right here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, looking at these shades, they don't scream vibrant. I mean, they're very colorful, 
but they look a little bit more cool tone, a little dull. They don't scream like the vibrant world of Lisa Frank. Like when you look at this, this pops a color, this screams. Like I feel like they really should have done a lot of neon colors in here. Personally, I feel like neon would really scream Lisa Frank. So this is on the inside. It's a little disappointing. I'm sure the formula is gonna be great. It's Morphe, Morphe does have good formula. I can't take that away from them. I should say, I just switched the colors on the inside were definitely more poppy and vibrant, like the packaging itself. But here we have the makeup bag. It has its own like little Lisa Frank tag. And when you open it up, oh my God, this is freaking beautiful. It's like a holographic it's inside stuffing. Wow. Okay. And then right here, we do have some makeup brushes. So we do have some very colorful makeup brushes. You do get a set of six. They all have like the Lisa Frank signature right here with like the tigers or like the leopards, leopard spots. Yeah. I feel like they have that right here. Uh, we'll definitely be playing around with these today. Really a big size bag for just these little brushes. Like you get like a lot of space in here, a lot of space. It feels very, very plasticky. It doesn't feel cheap, but it does feel like it could break. You know, like when you get those plastic bags, they start to just pair, like tear open like this. It start to like break apart and like the plastic starts to poke you. That is how this bag feels. So hopefully that's not the case, but it does have that feel. And my God, does it smell like a typical freaking <laughs> like pencil case and the zipper right here is rainbow very cute oh my god i'm like living out my childhood dreams i can just look how cute this is i love it i love it i love it so i rambled on enough um i was trying to be somewhat detailed for you guys i'm sure there's really more detailed reviews out there i'm not going to swatch these colors because there's no point to but what i will say is that what the names are actually in the palette they're very very small font like it's a very very small font with like a little bit of a purple color color to it. So it's not the easiest to read because they are really tiny. I'm not gonna lie. But I figure for today's look, we're gonna do like a fun rainbow style look for Lisa Frank. I would definitely say that I think James Charles palette probably has, screams more Lisa Frank colors to me just because I feel like this is just a little dulled out, a little dulled out. But you know what, we're gonna play around with it, see if it's really worth it, but. As a like 90s baby, I'm I'm really excited. I can't help it. Like I'm living out my childhood fantasy right here. <laughs> Freaking Lisa Frank. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be really good about this. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. <laughs> uh, Morphe brushes are a little cheap feeling. I'm not gonna lie. They do have like pretty cheap brushes, but they do, they do work. Um, so we're gonna go into this color right here. This is this yellow, like a deep yellow shade right here. It's called Sunflower. Everything has a TM next to it. So obviously everything in this palette is trademarked by Lisa Frank. Um, I don't know who owns that company. I literally thought that Lisa Frank died with the 90s. Like I truly did. Until I saw it come back a couple years ago, like in a um, folder form. I was like, oh my God, I bought one just to have it. I don't even know where it is. I think it's in Corey's like, school supply area. No clue where that is though. But um, yeah, I had to get like a Lisa Frank folder because I was like just so blown away that she was back. I was like, holy crap, that's Lisa Frank. Um, but I wish I'd like, I'm really sorry that I don't know like what happened a couple years ago. I only, I guess I only saw what was people were saying online. I didn't really know what happened. I do know that like, two years ago or something, I got like a Lisa Frank bronzer and an Ipsy bag. And I was like, oh my God, like this is a Lisa, Lisa Frank bronzer. Like, why is it here? Didn't think anything of it. And then I remember, I think they were gonna sell on Amazon and then they like never did. So I don't know. I don't know what happened with that one. No, I'm not gonna do anything wowing because I'm not talented like that. Like I've seen some people do some really fun, like creative looks on Morphe's website. I am not there skilled wise. I'm not like a makeup artist. I'm a makeup enthusiast. So I'm excited for makeup. I'm just not great at it. This is not the softest brush for blending. I want like a softer brush. All right, next I'm gonna go into this shade Hunter. This orange shade right here. This is not the best palette to uh, show you guys. <laughs> like, ways laid out. It's not the easiest to like pick up and hold. Like, this is what I'm going into. There's a lot of like deeper like greens, purples, and blues in here more than vibrant like yellows, reds, and oranges. I distinctly remember uh, Lisa Frank being very, very bright and vibrant. Um, so it's a little confusing to see not as neon colors in here, but it could just be me being like very, very anal about it. 
but I just remember how fun the designs were. They were so much fun. And I feel like every like 90s child like was just obsessed with like Lisa Frank, especially when we were going back to school to see what new folder was out. You're like, ooh, like I loved it. Oh God, it brings back such good memories. I even had like Lisa Frank backpacks, like, oh my gosh. I also had a Pocahontas backpack. It was like a red Pocahontas backpack. I had it, um, I think it was my first day of kindergarten, I believe, I wanna say. My first day, I need like a smaller brush. This brush, like, these brushes suck. I mean, the colors are blending somewhat into each other. These brushes do suck, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of these brushes. They're pretty hard. It's kind of disappointing that they're $32 for this. I think you're paying more for the bag than you are the brushes. Next, we're gonna go into this red shade right here. This shade is called Buzz. Oh, it kind of blends in with that orange shade, doesn't it? Okay, well, I really do feel like that um that red shade just really just blended away that orange shade. It just was too much together. Okay, next we're gonna go into the shade Violet and Velvet. Okay. Then we're gonna take the shade Takini, Takani, whatever that shade is called. Um, this palette kind of looks a lot like the Nikita Dragon palette, um, that she has with the Morphe Club, not gonna lie. I saw it there, still wasn't impressed with it. What? I'm sorry to just pack that right here. That purple is becoming extremely patchy. Do you guys see that? I don't know about, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like lately Morphe's formula has been different. I don't know. It just doesn't feel the same to me. It's not the same vibe that it once had. This is just, okay. All right, next we're going to go into the shade Angel Kitty right next to that. All right, this is starting to look stupid to me. Okay, so the last color we're going to go into is Zombies and Zorbit this green shade right here. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really the biggest fan of the Morphe brushes. They just, they don't, they're really not that great to me. And we're just going to pack that on right here. Like so. This looks horrible. I think I don't like it because I, I got the inspiration from one of the models on Morphe's website. And I have large downturned eyes, so it just, it's, I don't think it's the best shape looking because I wanted to do like a winged out this way and like have it lifted, but then it just overtakes my entire lid and just still doesn't look the way I want it to. So I don't think I did the best application for it personally. I think it might have gone something different, but this is it. I'm gonna definitely try to clean it up. Um, I, I want it to be more wowing. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up, do the other eye of camera, and we're gonna really see how I feel about the Lisa Frank collection. Oh, I think I might have just bought it just for the packaging. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so this is the final look. I absolutely hate it. I hate it with a passion so this green shade right here it did it on both eyes it just does not want to stay it keeps blending away it's not pigmented the shadows every time i try to blend it into each other particularly the dark shades the lighter shades are a lot easier to work with the darker shades are just wanting to blend each other away like completely just like blend away create patches i don't know if it's me I don't know if it's my, my, my lack of skills. I don't know, but this look is rather atrocious. I absolutely hate it, and I'm gonna give a thumbs down on my video myself. But yeah, I, I'm very disappointed. It's, I almost like just said screw filming, and I could have redone the look, but that's just not realistic. Um, I'm very disappointed in this, I'm not loving it. I'm disappointed in myself, but um, we'll dive into this palette. So I will definitely say the packaging on this palette is just freaking amazing. I love the packaging on this palette so, so much. It definitely brings back my childhood memories of being just a little girl, going to elementary school, loving all the different folders, the backpacks, the, the crayon cases, the pencil cases. Like I loved everything about that. And it brings back such good memories. It's why I had such high hopes. But the inside of the palette is just, it's not wowing because it just doesn't scream Lisa Frank. It just really doesn't. This looks a mix 
of this really like kind of reminds me of the Nikita Dragon palette like it really really does nothing stands out about it I feel like Morphe's formula is different I don't know why it just it doesn't have the same like pigment and payoff that it used to have I, maybe I've tried other brands too much I don't know but it is a really aesthetically pleasing palette just I don't know if I definitely would think it's worth it because like okay for example when I look at the Glam Light Cake Palette, let me show you guys the Glam Light Cake Palette. Okay, so this is Glam Light's Cake Palette. This retails for $40. Actually, it's on sale right now for 30% off. Look at this. This has more like vibrant shades in it, more like neon shades that kind of scream more Lisa Frank to me than that one. Even James Charles Palette really does look like a Lisa Frank. Like I thought like when you look at Lisa Frank, you think of bright, bold, beautiful, like neon colors, like that screams the rainbow because that's all what Lisa Frank is about. And this one, it just doesn't, it doesn't have the same vibe. It just, the packaging is great. The inside, not so much, but I could be being a little critical. I'm not gonna lie. I just think that like, they could have just done a lot more. Um, is it worth $30? Well, I mean, it's completely up to you on that one. You are spending $30 for 35 shadows, so that actually really is great. Whether they perform, that's going to be completely up to you. I don't think they perform the best for me. It could be my skills. It could be a lot of different factors. I do the same steps I do in every single other video, and I'm just really having trouble with this palette today, which is so disappointing because I really love Lisa Frank, and I really want to be like, this is the best palette ever, and I'm just like, oh. Fuck, I spent $30 on this. I think I pretty much just spent $30 on the packaging. I feel like that's what I'm looking down to. Um, the sponges are $19. You do get five sponges. Uh, they're they're all right. I had a really hard time breaking into this like um, thingamabob. Uh, I use just the one sponge. It gets pretty big. Is it my favorite sponge? No, it's really not. Um, I felt that I absorbed a lot of the product. I really love my Beauty Blender and my Huda Beauty like sponges. Those are like my top two favorite sponges right now. I just feel like this absorbed a lot of the product and I had to use a little bit more for some reason. So, and which is weird because I used to love the Morphe sponge like so much. Like this Morphe sponge that's dirty, like love it so much. I don't know what this one's going on with that. Um, the brush, the brushes. Now, these brushes are thirty-two dollars for six brushes with the with the makeup bag. These brushes, they're garbage. They really are garbage, which is so weird because I have so many of like the Jeffree Star collaboration, Jaclyn Hill collaboration, James Charles eye brushes, just regular Morphe brushes, and they're fantastic. These ones right here, they're just like really stiff and hard and they're not as easy to blend out as shadow. They don't pack on color very well. I don't know what's going on with it, but I feel like you're pretty much just paying for this bag. Now, I won't lie, this bag is just so freaking cute. And I probably would spend $20 on this bag, which probably is what I'm doing. I mean, it's $32 for the whole thing, but the brushes, I pretty much don't need. I just really love the bag and I would sp spend at most like, like $20 for this. I think the bag is so cute. It has so much space to it. A lot, a lot of space. Like I said, it does feel like that texture that could potentially end up, you know, cracking open like this. But so far, I really do love this makeup bag and I have no regrets purchasing this. I may not use the brushes, but I would definitely utilize this makeup bag because it's just so freaking cute. I love this makeup bag. As for the collection as a whole, uh, not my favorite. It's not. And I really, like I said, had high hopes for it, but ultimately it could be my fault. I could just be having a really, really off day with makeup. So I'm definitely going to be playing this palette a lot more. I am just so in love with the packaging. I definitely want for like a, a collector's item. So I am very happy that I have it just for like my inner like 90s child going, oh my God, it's Lisa Frank. But as for like the application and the payoff, um, I'm not living for it right now. Just not living for it. I do like how they have the names in here. They're really tiny, hard to read. I like how it's a mirror, like a little heart mirror. Like this part, can't stand this part. I think it's atrocious. I absolutely hate it. And like I said, if you guys thumbs down this video, I will <laughs> completely respect that. So at the end of the day, I'm not mad that I have it. Like I'm, I am happy that I have it, but I just wish I was more like, yay, look at this bomb ass look. And now I'm like, Oh God, this is such a horrible, ugly look. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But this is why I preface and say that I'm a makeup enthusiast. I'm not a makeup artist. I don't have the skills. This is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> so um, I'm happy that I have it, but it's definitely not the best collection. I feel like with this one, it just depends. You guys can go run out and get it. You guys, you guys don't have to. Like, I feel like this is one collection that you don't have to go run out and get. Like, I feel like it's like a, uh, 
it's up to you. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I am so sorry for this horrible makeup look. I will definitely try better next time. I tried to blend the crap out of it. The more I blended this, the more it just faded away and buffed away. And the more I tried to pack on color, the, just the shittier quality it got. So I tried. Um, please give this video whatever thumbs up you want. I will support you on that. Um, if you guys like this video or like me, please consider subscribing to my channel because I do post every day or every other day. Please make sure you guys check out my other channel. It's R for Life that you guys get to see my wonderful, amazing fiance, Corey, and her cool adventures here in Florida. And as always, guys, I just want to say thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll definitely see you guys in the very next video. Bye! This palette is a 35. A lot of So you're definitely getting a lot of pep. Oh, God. And I have to go run and grab dinner for me and Corey. Gee, oh, God. No! <laughs> Embarrassing.